Good morning, students. I'm Karsa Karkangor. I'll be taking Unit 1 and Unit 4 of your Indian Financial System paper. Today's video will be mainly an introduction to the paper so as to get a hold what or understand what the subject is about. The contents for today's class include an introduction to the financial system, which I will explain the meaning to get an understanding or to understand what a financial system is. So the first question here that we need to answer is, what is a financial system? Money, credit, and finance are three terms used synonymously in trade and commerce. We know money is a medium of exchange used in the form of currencies in different countries. Credit is funds or money borrowed from third parties. In this case, there are two parties, a borrower and a lender. A borrower is the one who borrows the money and the lender is the one who lends the money to the borrower. Finance is a term broadly describing the system or the study of money and investment and other financial instruments. So finance is a term for matters regarding the management, creation, and study of money and investments. Anything related to money, investment, and management of, and management and creation of money and investments is finance. So it is a broad term. A financial system, we can say, is a system of money, investments, and other financial instruments. So what is finance? Finance is a broad term which is for matters regarding management, creation, study of money and investments. And a financial system is a system of money, investments and other financial instruments. The next question here lies, why do we need a financial system? In order to understand this, we must be reminded that there are two groups in an economy. The first group are the savers. The savers are parties or individuals which have surplus funds or more money than they can consume. For example, a teacher. A teacher with a monthly salary of rupees 20,000 spends rupees 10,000 every month leaving rupees 10,000 as surplus. The second group are investors. Investors is a person or party which is in deficit of funds. In other words, they need money for investment. They can be in the form of a businessman who needs funds to finance his business or to start a new business. This is where the financial system comes in. It is an intermediary between savers and investors. When we have surplus funds or money with us, which we are not using, what is the first thing that comes to our mind? As Indians, the first thing on our mind is to deposit the money in a bank. In this way, at least we will earn some interest. Bank is a financial institution which form a part of the financial system. The flow of funds from surplus groups to the deficit groups is made through the financial system. A bank not only accepts deposits, it is an institution which also gives loans and advances to the investors from the deposits made by the savers. In this way, the savers can earn interest on the money that they saved and the investors can earn profit from the investments through the funds borrowed from the financial institution. So the financial system is, is an intermediary between a saver and investor so that funds can flow from savers and investors and both parties benefit from it. Savers can earn interest 
from their deposits in the financial institutions, in this case, deposit made in a bank, and investors can earn profit from their investments by borrowing from financial institutions or financing the funds from financial institutions. So banks are financial institutions which form parts of the components of the financial system. Financial institutions are institutions like banks, insurance companies, mutual fund companies, etc., which help mobilize savings from savers and provide finance to investors for investment. Apart from financial institutions, the other components include financial market. Market is a place for buying and selling. So what is being sold in a financial market? First of all, a financial market is not a physical place. Since most of the transactions now are being done online, so individuals need not meet physically to transact in a financial market. Secondly, it is a market for financial instruments. A financial instrument is a financial claim, which also forms part of the components of the financial system. The financial market provides a mechanism for buying and selling financial instruments. Financial instruments. Like I said, a financial instrument is a financial claim. Funds flow from savers to investors in the form of financial instruments. Instruments of various kinds depending on their maturity. They can be long term or short term. They can also be in the form of primary or secondary instruments. Some, of, some examples of financial instruments are given here include equity shares, bonds, debentures, treasury bills, etc. These are all financial instruments that are being traded in the financial market, which is being carried out by the financial institutions. Financial services. Another component is financial services. These are services which help in the functioning of the financial system. The payment and settlement mechanism provided by banks is another example. Financial services are again being provided by financial institutions. This diagram gives us an overview of the constituents and components of the financial system. Okay, so the financial system have different components which include financial institutions, financial markets, financial assets, financial services. They, it also includes regulators, which we will discuss in detail in another video or class. For today, I hope you've grasped the concept of financial system and why there is a need for a financial system. That is all for today. Thank you.